Det är genom stamcellsforskning forskarna närmar sig en lösning på en av våra idag obotliga sjukdomar, Parkinson. En stamcell är en typ av cell som kan omvandlas till andra typer av celler, som till exempel muskel- eller nervceller. Stamcellen har också förmågan att genomgå ett obegränsat antal celldelningar. De hjälper oss att utvecklas från embryo till människa och de nybildar celler som har skadats eller dött. Men det är inte alla typer av celler som kan nybildas. Våra nervceller till exempel. Så det nervösa system är en av de platser där det finns no new building of uh, neurons or if there is it's so inefficient that uh, it's not uh, capable of repairing the brain. En typ av nervcell producerar dopamin. Och det är just dessa dopaminnervceller som Ernest Arenas och hans forskare på Karolinska institutet jobbar med. Dopamin is a chemical uh, transmitter so that's a signal that one neuron sends to another one. It's uh, we can compare the neurotransmitter like uh, to a language so different cells speak uh, different languages and they communicate with the other or they send different messages from one uh, cell to the other and dopamine is a certain type of message that is sent from one cell to another and uh, this message uh, controls for instance uh, our movements controls uh, our mood and uh, emotions and integrates that in, into our motor behavior Now at this stage of development this cell is actually becoming mature it's growing it's becoming more of an adult cell and uh, what we are interested in is in the function of this uh, transcription factor if we understand this then we can apply it in stem cells and then we can make our stem cells that we cultivate in a petri dish make them be more differentiated När man har sjukdomen Parkinson dör dopamin nervceller So Parkinson is a neurodegenerative uh, disease. Uh, so that means that some cells uh, in the nervous system, in the brain, they start to die uh, progressively. Um, one of the cells that dies in Parkinson's disease is uh, the dopamine producing cells. And uh, those are the ones that uh, control the movements. And because these cells start dying, then uh, patients with Parkinson's disease have difficulties in control their movements. So nowadays the, the, there is a, a treatment that is uh, very common, which is uh, L-DOPA, that is um, the neurotransmitter. So it's something similar to the dopamine. And uh, that is actually taken in, in pills, so the patients take uh, L-DOPA. And that is taken by the few cells that remain in the brain. And then they actually in, you can increase their function. So basically you make uh, less cells to work harder. And uh, that's how it works. But of course the problem is that uh, in this disease the numbers of cells keep on uh, going down all the time. Därför vill forskarna finna andra botemedel. Målet är att i labbet artificiellt skapa nya nervceller till hjärnan. Och för att skapa nya hjärnceller kan man använda sig av metoder utvecklade av årets Nobelpristagare i medicin. John B. Gordon och Shinya Yamanaka upptäckte nämligen att mogna, redan specialiserade celler faktiskt kan omprogrammeras till omogna celler som sen kan utvecklas till vilken annan celltyp som helst. De blir så kallade inducerade pluripotenta stamceller, IPS-celler. På Karolinska institutet använder forskarna antingen IPS-cellerna eller stamceller från embryon för att skapa nya dopaminnervceller. Celler som kan hjälpa Parkinson-patienter på två sätt. One of them is for transplantation for uh, the patients that have lost already the cells. And the other um, uh, application that uh, we are uh, developing is uh, using those cells for drug development. So you can take IPS cells from a patient for par uh, from Parkinson's disease. And some of the features of uh, the Parkinson patients uh, we hope that will be retained in the cells that we're using in, in vitro. So those cells then we can compare to a normal cell and then see how a medicine works on a normal cell compared to the disease cell and see whether we can actually uh, recuperate or uh, improve their function. Ett hundratal patienter har faktiskt redan fått transplantation av hjärnceller och det har fungerat på en del men inte alls på andra. Parkinson är en komplicerad sjukdom och än är det en bit kvar till att hitta rätt metoder och tillvägagångssätt för transplantationerna. Och Parkinson kan dessutom överföras till de transplanterade cellerna. The problem is that uh, after many years the disease in the brain can transmit to the transplanted cells. 
So the new cells that we put in the brain can become uh, sick. Um, but this is a very slow uh, process. So uh, in some of the few uh, patients that have been transplanted, not with stem cells, but with uh, tissue from uh, fetuses, we have seen that the cells that are transplanted start to get problems. Now, we don't know whether that is sufficient to make um, the therapy fail. We know that it can be transmitted, and it can be transmitted in 10 years or 12 years. Um, but we still think that uh, the window of uh, therapy is very long. So if we think that perhaps it is 15 years, uh, we are talking about patients that may be in their 60s. If you can give them 15 years of uh, good uh, mot motor control, I think it's a very good therapy. When do you think you will succeed? Well, what I would like is to, uh, to use all what we have learned in, uh, in therapy, but um, one never knows exactly how much uh, is necessary or how much is sufficient to reach uh, the clinic. It could be something that it is just uh, around the corner, but uh, you never know when that corner, uh, where that corner is. And in fact, uh, I think um, I have been like for the last uh, 15 years uh, hoping that this corner was very close. But it has uh, taken a long time, so it's difficult to, to predict.